Hey everybody, it's Shaman Sister Sin, and you're listening to the Meditations and More podcast brought to you by EndLittleShaman.org. That's me, Little Shaman. Today I wanted to talk to you about narcissists and perfection. It might seem odd to say, considering the way many of them behave, but pathologically narcissistic people are often consumed with perfection and being perfect. Narcissists often believe that only perfect people are worth anything. Only perfect people deserve love. This includes themselves. They cannot tolerate mistakes, flaws, or to be anything less than perfect. Imperfections of any kind are considered abject failures by pathologically narcissistic people a lot of the time, even when they're just simple mistakes or basic human flaws. This is probably because most narcissists were themselves raised by narcissistic parents or in narcissistic environments. People who are familiar with narcissistic abuse patterns know that narcissists cannot tolerate imperfection and it's likely that narcissists themselves were subjected to this same dynamic when they were children. If they were not perfect, they were not loved. As is the case in abuse cycles, it has simply been passed down from generation to generation. That type of thing leaves an imprint on people. Of course, no one is perfect not narcissists and not other people. That is a source of endless frustration and pain for the narcissist because if they're not flawless, they believe they have no value at all. This is the lesson that they have learned. It's the reason for the false image that they present to the world. It's why they blame, shift, project, deny, and do many other things. They are trying to pass themselves off as perfect because they believe to be less than that is unacceptable in life. Not just that it's undesirable, but that it's unacceptable. That's the reason narcissists go through the relationship cycles that they do. Idealization is when the partner appears perfect to them. Devaluation happens when they realize that the partner is just a normal person after all, with flaws and who makes mistakes. And perhaps most importantly, these two stages coincide with how they believe the other person sees them. People are just mirrors for the narcissist, remember. This preoccupation with appearing perfect often shows up as blame shifting, projecting, denial, gaslighting, lying, and an inability to accept mistakes either from other people or themselves. Narcissists are often incapable of understanding or dealing with mistakes in any capacity. In their opinion, only bad or stupid people make mistakes. This is, of course, ridiculous. Everybody makes mistakes, even people who are intelligent. This is why mistakes they make are often blamed on others. I didn't make the mistake. You made it. You forced me to make it. You created this situation. You're the worthless, imperfect loser, not me. There can be an obsessive compulsive element to their quest for perfection in some narcissistic people as well, with the narcissist insisting things be done, placed, or used a certain way. Narcissists are very concerned with how they appear to other people because it's only through positive feedback about themselves from other people and positive reflection of themselves from others that they can create any semblance of self-worth. People narcissists feel represent them will be expected to be perfect as well. The narcissistic insistence on perfection can be particularly hard on children because children make mistakes by default. It's how they learn. When children are shamed for normal behavior, it creates serious problems with their self-esteem and their self-worth. In the end, again, nobody's perfect. Nobody could ever meet the impossibly high, unreasonable expectations that narcissists put not only on themselves but on other people. Sadly, pathologically narcissistic people don't seem to know that. They don't seem to know that nobody's perfect. They seem to believe that they're the only flawed individuals walking around in a world full of perfect people that they can't compete with on any level without faking it completely or placing other people in situations designed for failure. If you are not perfect, you will likely be punished for failing the narcissist and for embarrassing them. If you are perfect, you would probably be punished for the narcissist's envy. This is a game you cannot win because it's been stacked against you from the very beginning. The only way to win is not to play at all. I hope this clears a few things up for you. As always, I look forward to your comments, questions, and suggestions, so please keep those coming. I am taking appointments now, one-on-one, so if you would like to schedule an appointment with me, visit littleshaman.org and hit the Bookings tab to go ahead and do that. You've been listening to the Meditations and More podcast brought to you by littleshaman.org. That's me, the Little Shaman. May the Great Spirit bless you and have a wonderful day.